How to Align GPS Telescopes This video shows how to align the MEAD-12 LX200 GPS telescope, including how to solve common problems while aligning. These steps can be modified for other GPS equipped telescopes. Please refer to your telescope user's guide for additional information. Notes. After setting up your telescope, always align the finder scope with the telescope so that the view will match in the, between the two. You can do this before dark by choosing a distant object and adjusting the finder so the object is centered both in the finder and in the telescope. While aligning and using a GPS telescope, never move the telescope with the manual controls or loosen the RA or declination clamps. Move it only with the telescope control buttons. Moving it manually will destroy the alignment and you will then have to turn the power off and on to reinitialize the software, then start the alignment process again. To align the telescope, turn on the power. Depending on your software version, you'll be asked to press a key to start automatic alignment. On my telescope, you press zero. For several minutes, the telescope determines the tilt and compass orientation of the telescope mount. It gets the observing time, date, and location from GPS satellites, then chooses two alignment stars. The telescope points near each star and prompts you to center the bright star and press enter. You center the alignment star first in the finder scope, then in the main scope. Start with the finder scope. Use the telescope control buttons not the manual telescope controls, to center the alignment star in the view. Here's the original view, there's the centered view. Then center it in the telescope eyepiece before you press enter. Use a fast slew speed at first to center it in the finder scope, then use a slow speed to center it in the telescope eyepiece. Consult your telescope user's guide for how to change the slew speeds. Here's how to deal with several problems that may occur during alignment. If a cloud or other obstruction blocks the view of an alignment star, press the scroll key at bottom right on the control to choose a different alignment star. If you can't identify the alignment star because the telescope points near several bright stars or doesn't point near any bright stars, recalibrate the sensors. To recalibrate sensors, press the mode button until select item appears. Press the scroll keys at the bottom of the control until setup appears, then press enter. Press the scroll button at the bottom until telescope appears and then press enter. Press the scroll keys until calibrate sensors appears, press enter. The telescope slews near Polaris, then prompts you to center it and press enter. After calibrating the sensors, repeat the alignment steps. If you can't locate the alignment star, press the question mark key at the bottom of the Mead control. Mead changes the bright star message to include the name of the star. Let's say it's the star Rigel. Search for that star either in a star atlas or by using a stargazing app on an iPhone or iPad if you don't know exactly where that star is. I recommend the Skyview app for the iPad, which only costs $2. Here's how to locate the alignment star, Rigel, with Skyview. Click the magnifying glass to open the search. Click where it says Search All Objects. Start to type the name of the object to find, which is the star Rigel. Continue to type until the star appears in the list, then click it in the list. The star gets selected and a blue circle gets drawn around it, and an arrow appears in the middle of the iPad screen 
to tell you which direction to move the iPad to find the star. There's the star Rigel. And what you do is you notice the pattern of stars around the star Rigel on the display. And then using that pattern, you find the star Rigel in the sky. Now you know where the star is, and you can center it in your telescope finder scope and then in your telescope eyepiece. Once you have centered the star in the telescope, press the enter key. And if that's the first star, the program will select the next alignment star. If that's the second alignment star, then the program will complete the alignment. If you have a 12 inch or larger telescope similar to this Mead LX200 GPS or the LX600 ACF, you know that it is very difficult for one person to transport and set it up. I've developed a system for one person to move and set up the telescope using a hydraulic lift cart. With this system, you never have to lift more than 30 pounds to move or set up the scope. The system is described in video how to set up Mead 12-inch telescopes without help. There's a link to this video at the end of this video. Also, the web page shown below shows how to build the system. And there's a link to the web page in the video description. If you enjoyed this Tom's Tech Notes video, please like it and please leave a comment. To watch my other videos or to read many computer help articles, please visit my YouTube channel or my website. You can also click links in the video description. When thumbnails appear, click the thumbnail at upper left to watch other videos related to this one. Click at lower left to watch a video specially recommended for you. Click my photo to visit the Tom's Tech Notes channel. To subscribe, please click the red button. If you don't see the red button, hover over my photo to show it.